sooner rather than later we're going to get a new rundown kind of for the visual audience on youtube and it only took me a year we got zoom pro we got zoom pro oh, we do things go. here we do things <laughs> um happy new year guys how was your i was bricked up with fucking covid wasn't bricked up i was the opposite of bricked up how was your guys's new year's eve Wait, um, doesn't bricked up mean you have a boner? <laughs> yes, I don't, someone's oh, been using it bricked up like when you cash a sports bet and it's been stuck in my head. I think it's like, yeah, it means like torqued, but like right. bricked up, yeah. <laughs> so I was not bricked up. <laughs> okay, good clarification. Uh, we had a good one in Dallas. We went to our friend's dad's house who has like a pretty sick yeah. like bachelor pad looking place and like a live band even though it was just like, I guess it was one solo guy singing, but it was, it was fun. It looked like a great venue. Did you guys get clipped? Some of us are feeling under the weather too. I feel like everyone's, I, I got through it. Now I'm hearing more people getting sick after the new year. I think I'm clipped as of oh. how I'm feeling right now. Dude, I feel like death. <laughs> yeah. Bad. Well, dude, and I was feeling so much better this morning after the past two days. And then at like three o'clock today, just fucking slap me again. Fuck, I don't know what's going on. Dude, I, I, th- I think it was all Brennan's fault because he was the first one to be sick. 100%. I got tested yesterday and was negative. Well, I, but I was going to bring it up to him. I just got off a meeting with some people at my work, and they were all talking about how it's rumored the rapid tests right now don't work very well. And this girl got tested three different times, and it finally came back positive because she kept having symptoms for three weeks. <laughs> Dude, it's a mess. It's a yeah. mess. They're talking about moving the Super Bowl now um, because L.A. started. They just Minneapolis is reinstating mass mandates like it's it's fucked, even though data came out today. New York Times reported on this, that it's less severe, like it's not as bad hospitalized, but it, it's, it's everyone's just testing positive. We just don't know what the fuck to do. Um, Alex you, is in the midst. Sorry, Austin. When you say move the Super Bowl, do you mean locations or time? There's it's in L.A. and they're thinking about moving it to D-Town, winging it headquarters south Dallas. Dude, my brother would be so mad because right. he has season tickets to the stadium. Oh, wow. So he's getting hooked up for the Super Bowl? Yeah. He's, they do like a lottery, but he has a really good chance of getting tickets. Yeah, dude. It's, so it's awesome. just starting the seeds right now. Like that is – I would hate to see it moved because it's in that brand spanking new stadium. Right. Uh, Alex, you're in a snowstorm currently. Talk about yeah. something somber here. The Boulder, Colorado fires – followed two days later by a foot of snow it's fucking crazy yeah there you go yeah. wow <laughs> yeah, yeah so you guys are in the mix, thick of it right now <laughs> yeah it's supposed to be like two feet or like possibly three so we'll see but um no yeah those fires horrible horrible tragedy and what's wild is like just once it got loose in the early of the day it just it was raging until i think like I don't know, sometime in the night, probably they said maybe 10, 10 p.m. ish is what I heard, but I don't know. But we actually, you know, the friends we've made out here, some of their like childhood homes have like been lost and it's just horrible. I was talking to a guy I work with it and I was just like, man, I, you know, just all your memories gone. Like <laughs> the, there was a Colorado assistant football coach who probably like just moved there for the job in the last two years. He, he lost everything. He said every material possession he had, he, he lost. It just That's wiped out we, neighborhoods. It was crazy. We had friends that um, they were like, hey, does Alex have like an extra hitch or something? Like my dad might want to try and go pick up like the boat and a trailer. And I was just like, I don't think this is going to happen. Like we hit, like tried calling them and they're like, no, nah, like we're not going into that, obviously. But yeah, there there goes a boat. There goes your car. <laughs> there goes everything. And it's in December. Like we've had tornadoes in December and now wildfires. And I'm going to blow your guys' mind. It gets worse, right? Alaska had its warmest December day ever. 67 degrees. <laughs> Bro. I think, have you guys ever seen insomnia? Like I think of Alaska as just, I don't know, like a desolate place, you know, like it's just dark. It's always, I don't like know. Wind, maybe wind river. Totally, yeah, exactly. Yeah. 
Um, but yeah, it's, I'm actually going there in September, sir. So maybe I'll be able to provide some light on what's going up North, but 67 degrees in December. Dude, what, what causes these forest fires? Wasn't it winds, Alex? Like it was just, it was, it, you know, Denver, Colorado, Colorado in general has been hotter recently. And then it's like the, the wind was so fierce that no one could put the fires out. But like, how do they start? He's going in now. Yeah, go ahead, Austin. He's got connection, but we'll have to get him back. <laughs> but like, how does it start originally? Uh, I, I think it's from, I'm, I'm trying to mute him manually here. <laughs> Uh, but I think it's from like literally because it was two days before the snow came, like it was just hot as shit. And remember when we were out there, like, God, back when I was still smoking cigarettes, I was like afraid to like put a butt on the ground because it was so dry. Like I felt like I was going to start a forest fire, like even when we were just fucking golfing, uh, yeah. you know, it's just fucking it's crazy. That's all I had there. Uh, I, I, I don't know. First. Never Sorry, mind. Go know. ahead. <laughs> Well, speaking of bad snow, I-95 shut down and people had to spend the night in their cars. Yeah. <laughs> Could you imagine people and their dogs? Dude, that's fucking ridiculous. My brother had to do that in St. Louis a couple years ago. That's right. That ran a real bad snowstorm. Storm. Like I-95. Like, dude, it's, uh, like it's the, fucked up. It's like Connecticut all the way down to Florida or Maine to Florida. Right, like my the, back. The big. You are back, Alex. Oh, yes. yes. In between. Just in and something. out. Someone tweeted, if you want to do anything right now, every single CIA agent that lives outside of Washington, D.C. is stuck on that highway. Because, like, going – it was, like, when everyone was leaving work. Anyway, so I-95 shuts down. Yeah, and it was, like, there was a senator who was caught in the middle of it. What You can't leave your car, right? You know, like, so what, what are you doing? Like, I would try and go and knock on someone's house, like, off the highway and be like, hey, we're not moving. Can I, like, crash on your couch? Whatever. Yeah, I – I don't know what I would do. When you're like, what about like people who like don't cars run out of gas like sitting there that long? Like literally, yeah. People will had to shut their car like heat. Like people were gonna yeah, freeze. I mean, snowing. it was like 19 degrees, but yeah. yeah. I, I bet people made some good lifelong uh, relationships with the cars next to them. <laughs> <laughs> I would be so pissed. I would just be like so angry. I, I wouldn't know what to do. I I'd be feel it. <laughs> Dylan, you'd be like, oh, where's Harry. the fucking closest gas station? I need cigarettes. Oh, I would, yeah, I would need heaters. No, 100%, I would be trekking. I would be bargaining for snowshoes to try and make it there. Um, <laughs> good God. Did you guys see, do you know who Billy Corbin is, anyone? He uh, he directed uh, Cocaine Cowboys. He did the, the U. He's based in Miami. But him and Portnoy got into a very interesting conversation back and forth on Twitter. Like, and it was just fascinating to see because Billy Corbin kind of notes all the corruption politically that goes on in Miami, like where buildings are collapsing, but they're still building more taller real estate for more expensive people. Like it's screwing Miami citizens because it's just everyone rich from the Northeast moving down there for the winter and buying up this real estate because they had the money. But Portnoy <laughs> was like, he was saying how the mayor of Miami was trying to get Barstool to move their headquarters down there. Uh, and it's just fascinating what like because that would be pretty smart, right? If you would just save mm -hmm. so much money on taxes. Yeah. Isn't is Miami still trying to become the like crypto capital of the world, too? <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's like taking his paycheck in Bitcoin, the mayor. Right, exactly. Which, you know, we're all in on crypto and we think that rightfully it's going to be the future. But imagine like 50 year olds and just like or even the retirement community of Florida. And all of a sudden your mayor is just talking about this cryptocurrency, which you like the cryptocurrency is literally the stock market. But for cool young people, you know, yeah. I don't think anyone's with the stock market anymore. Just general, except for 98 year old Charlie Munger. <laughs> <laughs> Um, speaking of that building collapsing, Austin and I were in Miami when that, when that building collapsed, that apartment building. Yeah, that's right. Died. Um, I mean, did they update any laws or like pass any bills about, well, and all those are from like the cocaine empire that really yeah. built Miami. So it's like the infrastructure is just failing and people are yeah. kind of, you know, you, who knows what Miami is going to look like in 10 years, but people looking at wildfires in December are going to be like, shit, is that a smart investment pouring all that money into a city that if just one turn of a hurricane went differently, wipes out that city. You it's know? underwater. And it's, it's underwater. going to be underwater in three years, right? <laughs> Correct. Yeah. Seven <laughs> countdown nine. How has um, no uh, hurricanes just completely fucked them? 
I think it's been like Katrina's the one that was of our lifetime, which was New Orleans, right? Like the shit, Houston got <sighs> rocked by that hurricane, what, a couple of years ago? Um, shit, I just don't even know. Miami, I think Hurricane Andrew was one they had really bad in the 90s, but we were, you know, not even born. Dude, speaking of that building, I feel like that got super swept under the rug. Like oh, nobody yeah. ever talks about that. Right. And it's yeah, because I'm pretty sure it was like in like it wasn't the best, you know, like low income housing. I'm pretty sure like they had a lot of people living there for cheap rent in Florida, which is hard to come by. Yeah. Yeah. Like what if there was a famous person in there? Yeah. Then it would be. Yeah. Then someone would be sued and it would be made a lot more of. But unfortunately, they don't have the litigation. Um, this is how you should solve political corruption, though. Did you see this? This is one of the funniest headlines I've read in a while. Two Brazilian politicians fight MMA style three rounds to settle a water park conservation project dispute. I saw that. Where? In Brazil. Just like they literally made an event out of it. And these guys fought for the right to whatever their decision was. To build the water park. Like one won and it built and one didn't. And it's Could you imagine Joe Biden fighting someone over a bill passing? (laughs) I can't imagine him walking to the ring. Uh, Good Lord. That would be so awesome. We should do that here in the United States. Yeah, now that Jake Paul's so popular, that's literally that the best <laughs> boxer, the best celebrity boxer should be our president. That's what we should do. We should, <laughs> we should have Biden and Trump fight each other. Who would oh, win? Dude, Trump, I, Trump, Trump would, would sleep his ass. His ass. Yeah, <laughs> like not polit- politics aside, like dude, Biden is like <laughs> an old rickety, dude doesn't even know what year it is. Just Trump could just literally it. blow, just <laughs> and just blow him out of the ring. <laughs> Praising, but that's like um when you would get in a fight with your pledge brother and then you'd be like all right let's oklahoma or yeah locker box yeah you basically fight exactly. and then, <laughs> and then. um yeah. dark day in uh the platts household blackberry shuts down its phone how's your dad doing <laughs> wait um, i didn't i didn't look at this Did, like they stopped producing new blackberries or they just shut off all the existing I think they had stopped. I, they shut off all the existing. Like they had to have cut product production a while ago. But yeah, I just like what do people? But that's still a company on the stock stock market. What do they do? <laughs> you, know, you come to Monday, you work, you work for BlackBerry. Like, huh? This is the day our business makes a comeback. You know what? Today's Wait, Platts, does your dad fuck blackberries or something? Oh, dude, he had a BlackBerry for so long, but he finally got got rid of it and has an iPhone now. But speaking of BlackBerry, um, during that whole um, fiasco with the stocks, I had BlackBerry call call options, like six of them, yeah. and they all like five x. I was up like five grand, and um, Brad had a couple, and I was like, "Do we sell? Do we sell?" He's like, "Dude, we be- we could become rich off this." That was this time <laughs> last year. I missed that time. Now that did you like, see the market today? <laughs> I mean, it was. Lord. It was like one year ago, and then of course we like lose everything. Yeah. I'm like, we couldn't have just sold what we bought it, when AMC was oh god the glory days when we discovered Doge. Yeah, now I had to sell all my BlackBerry losses off for a tax write off. <laughs> um, you mentioned Apple, three trillion dollars. We were talking last week. They're coming out with their own VR headset. I heard today Apple's going to buy ESPN in two years. Like that's that's just what happens. Like Apple's trying to get in and be literally the monopoly. Like they eliminated the watch industry. You know, it, 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 why would you make a watch anymore? Everyone's wearing an Apple Watch. Um, they're making their own headset. Apple TV Plus is where they're, and ESPN might help that, but they only have Ted Lasso, and they're not really competing with HBO, Netflix, Hulu, even per se. Why would they buy ESPN? Wait, I thought I thought, I thought Disney owned ESPN. Disney currently owns ESPN, but so they don't. They're going to sell the Apple. They're preparing to sell it. They don't want to be in it anymore because they realize it's a dying medium. So they're going to get it for pennies on the dollar and then be able to. And Apple's just got whatever money. I mean, if you wanted to get into the sports game, which Apple isn't in yet, yeah. right? They're getting in the car. ESPN around and they would just package it with Apple TVs. And- and, right? and just make it all sports. Like, don't even yeah. do the studio shows anymore because you you realize, I mean, it's all menu options now. Our cable television is what we, the people we choose to listen to podcasting. We're creating our own cable television. We're creating our own newspaper by choosing to follow Barstool, Joe Rogan, <laughs> wherever you have it. You know, you pick your own news. It's not 
someone staring at a cable show were forced to watch. That's why everyone knew what first take was. Yeah. Dude, I got to see this Apple card that they've been rumoring for like years. Did you see the headset, the VR headset? It mm-hmm. looks so much sleeker than the Oculus. Like they're coming for Meta's shit. Dude, apparently them and Meta are like poaching each other's software engineers right yeah. now. Just like offering like insane offers because people keep leaving from Apple to go to Meta because they keep they're paying them a shit ton. Really? Yeah. I got Whoa, the first uh, Apple Watch like back when it got out, and I was like, you know, I didn't get attached <sighs> to it, but now that everyone has one, I'm like back on it. I'm like, this thing's fucking awesome. Yeah, I literally just threw mine on today. Yeah. yeah, the only reason to buy a watch nowadays is just like a fashion statement or to show. Right. How rich I are. miss it, dude. Oh. Watches were big when we were in high school and college, and now it's just like, yeah. oh, you just need a different band for your Apple Watch. <laughs> okay, great. Speaking Apple of which, watches are back. They I'm are friends with like 10 people on my watch. Austin, You're one of them, right? I, I have this written down as a topic. Stop kicking my ass with your workouts. <laughs> I woke up at 1030 today. Austin Platts completed a workout. I'm like, damn it. I, I can't even close my rings. No, I could. I didn't sleep a single minute last night. So what? because I napped yesterday. <laughs> So I worked out at like 11 p.m. and then worked out again at 5 a.m. Yeah, you oh, texted man. me at like 2. I was like, I thought, I thought your New Year's resolution was lights off by 10. <laughs> Dude, I tried doing that too. I think it lasted one day. I like slept until 11 today. Um, <laughs> oh, well. Sad news. Joe Gatto is leaving Impractical Jokers. Yeah. Why? Uh, I think it, he's like going through a divorce. Like he cited that as like, he's trying to figure that out. So he's they stepping di- away from the show. They got divorced and he said he needs to put all his time and effort into co-parenting his children. Since yeah. He's divorced. Felt bad. Don't they make an ungodly amount of money? Oh yeah. Those, those guys. Yeah. They tour on top of filming the show. Don't they do a comedy tour as well? They yeah, tour. They, uh, they had a movie, I think. And yeah. Yeah, it's like, it's, I mean, it's a funny ass show, but I'm not seeking it out to watch it. It's just something you kind of put on and you're just like, all right. It would be background. super fun to be them, though. They're just oh, yeah. from high school who just fuck around. Like, and they're literally funny fuck as fuck. Around. Like, yeah. <laughs> dude, if you look up like their best of on YouTube, it is so fucking funny. Some of them, <laughs> like, I would die laughing. <laughs> yeah, no, they have some gems. They just have so many episodes. Because right. I think they've been on for like 15 years. Like, it's been a hell of a run. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Dr. Oz, speaking of run, is okay, running yeah. for Senate. Yes. I don't even know where. Like, what state? I, he just announced he's running for Senate. I think he doesn't know. Like, he's just going to show up and be like, I'm here. They voted. Oh, do, do you know right, Dr. Which Oz one of you states needs a senator? <laughs> yeah. Doc Ock from Doc, Spider-Man. Dr. Oz. Uh, he's the like dude- a, yeah, he's a daytime television. Like, he has a TV show. He's a doctor. Yeah, like, he's like, like Oprah. He's He was after mm-hmm. Oprah, but yeah, and he has like people come on and like talks about their medical stuff. But and he's, he's like totally a fake. Like, isn't he a fake doctor? Like, what is oh, his doctor? Yeah, man? like he's totally like a TV personality, like a Joel Osteen, the dude runs a the Judge church. Judy. Yeah, yeah that's exactly. Type. But he's so, running for Senate. Yeah, but oh, the Senate. I mean, shit. Arnold Schwarzenegger was a governor for ten years. You know, like Trump was our president. I mean, I don't even know why this is crazy. Like, it's just the yeah. next thing. Um. <laughs> This isn't crazy. Well, depends who you ask. Tristan Thompson apologizes to Khloe Kardashian after it was confirmed to be his kid after he had previously denied that it was not his kid. <laughs> um, and then he asked for a public apology. Dude, Dude he's how many times- a fucking fuck boy. <laughs> totally. Yeah. How so many bad. times has he gotten caught cheating on her? <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I think it's like more than one hand. Like, yeah. Dude, yeah. How has Chris Jenner not fucking lit him on fire yet with all her power? Like, and then he him, posted, like he said that in his apology, he posted that he has the utmost respect for Chloe. Oh yeah, he he's like a psychopath. I mean, he's just there was a headline that he was a rampant raw dogger. Uh, and, <laughs> yeah, literally, like how how does that happen? He thought he could get away with it. No, if that's not my kid, fuck. Yeah, it actually is. Well, they they played the Lakers last night, and Chris yeah, Jenner's he still boyfriend. plays, which is so funny. He's a Sacramento king. Chris Jenner's boyfriend still went and like sat on the Sacramento side, so people were kind of curious about that. Dude, you know, remember remember when Lamar Odom like almost died in a died bar? in like a whorehouse? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, when remember when he dated a Kardashian? Who was he? He dated, he with? Chloe. Was it he Chloe? dated Chloe. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, dude, she does really? not know how to pick him. I yeah. saw a tweet yesterday and said Lamar Odom on crack treated Chloe better than Tristan. <laughs> 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 literally I mean. um yeah you remember chris humphreys like good lord just the saga of yeah. the kardashians you know who's a power couple is kendall and devin booker yeah and yeah. previously ben simmons blake griffin like crazy shit True. um speaking of basketball and taking in games antonio brown <laughs> was at the nets game last night he's not vaccinated how do you get in there <laughs> uh you know he showed the card Anyway, Super gremlin. <laughs> yeah, dude quits mid play trends on Twitter. Uh, just crazy. But I don't want to talk about that. We've all talked. I want to talk about the video of him purposely farting on his doctor. Yeah, dude. What the <laughs> fuck was that? I mean, this dude just lost it. Dude, I have him on the same level, like up here as Kanye. Like, yeah, I think they're both, he is. like fucking like what, you have no idea what they're gonna do next. He's like a child just farting on the doctor. And like I you know I think he has CTE. Like I read stories about Vincent Jackson who is like six years younger than Tom Brady dead just from drinking because he was just self medicating and he had CTE like mm-hmm. since they were allowed to test his brain and that's a 38 year old you know like I he, yeah he got he just drank himself to death because he was so messed up in the head. If you go read some of AB's tweets too, and if you like watch the video of him in the car after he left the game, yeah, in the Uber. I'm like, dude, who t- like have you ever like written or read anything? Like, <laughs> well, anything? he's, I mean, that's what's sad too, and he won't talk about this. Is he grew up homeless in Miami, 16 when he was 16? Oh, really? Well, like this dude's been I through it all. My statement, then. Um, no, but I mean, it's it's a fine line because he's a total clown. I, who purposely <laughs> farts on their doctor like that? <laughs> Listen to this. My friend got a cameo from him um, the day of, <laughs> and he walked off the field, and he was still wearing what he was wearing when he got picked up. <laughs> it's great. Security almost threw him out of the stadium. They didn't know who he was. Um, yeah, his it's just cameo, I looked. His cameos are three hundred fifty dollars. Yeah, uh, miss me with so that. Money off that right now. Literally, I mean, fuck Probably the like, island well, boys are on there. He's probably like, well, I'm unemployed now, so I gotta start doing camp. He's still on, he's still on the team. They haven't even officially cut him yet. It's I mean, it's gonna be a mess. But like, there's apparently like Bruce Arians was telling him, "Hey, get in there." And he's like, "I'm injured." And he's like, "All right," and then you're done. And he's like, "All right, fuck yeah, I'm done." And he fucking left in the most AB. Way that's what happened. happened. That's Reported. yeah. That's what the word on the street is now. But- wasn't yeah. he living with Tom Brady or something? <laughs> he was living with Tom. Like Tom Brady's just. I mean, he doesn't have any interesting quote ever. <laughs> but he's just he's showing him love like he's yeah. just like yeah i just i hope the best for him and i mean shit i mean i guess but it's just the dude is just he's just a b it's just, like you said he's just it's like he's the kanye of sports i mean and it started like and people are theorizing when he got hit in the head by Vontez perfect because he was you know just a great player for the steelers and then all of a sudden he's freezing his feet he's oh, calling man. his gm Absolutely. a cracker we lost um, dylan Oh, so why does it why is it always that the wide receivers Dylan you, you we lost you for a second there no but, worries. um why does it why is it always the wide receivers that are like this you know what I'm saying uh yeah um, exactly I mean it started with Michael Irvin and it's like that's how you get paid Chad Johnson Terrell Owens they um, always have the biggest personalities of any other position it seems like right yeah, it's just sad, man. Terrell, um, Terrell Owens said on Twitter yesterday that he's been trying to call Tom Brady because he's ready to go. Yeah, d- he, Tom Brady does a podcast with Larry Fitzgerald, and it's like, why don't you just suit him up? Mario Chalmers is back in the NBA. I mean, it's just a mutation. We're watching exhibitions in all the sports right now. It's just laundry up and down the field, like all these last, no-name players. Last thing about AB is that, I saw a tweet that was like, we all knew AB. It was all downhill from here. That video of him when he was running on the kick return, he just kicked that dude in the face. Yeah, you that's that right. Video? What? <laughs> yeah, dude. And the announcer's like, and he kicks a man in the face. Yeah. <laughs> Send it to you. Dude, remember when that one guy took the other guy's helmet off and like hit him in the head? Yeah, it was Miles Garrett. That was like a yeah. people wanted to turn that into a race war. It was Miles Garrett, you know, about to beat the fuck out of Mason Rudolph. And and then he got the the award for like the most um, charitable person. Might, yeah, year. people forgot about it. People were like clutching their pearls, like he should be in prison. And then it was like, oh, never mind. <laughs> like, yeah, it's like okay, it's like yeah, Mason Rudolph actually sucks. Um, <laughs> Jake Paul versus Dana White. 
Jake, don't come at Jake Paul. He's just going to burn you on the internet. His video was so much funnier than Dana White's. Dana White's just... He's, Dana, Dana's was so dumb. I, yeah. I know. He took an L. I didn't realize he came from boxing before he went to UFC. And there was a video that resurfaced where it's Dana White's looking young, like having hair, sitting on a private plane. And Mike Tyson just comes up to him and goes, move. And he goes, <laughs> but I like this scene. Mike Tyson goes, yeah, I like it better. And the guy no just, Dana White just moves. <laughs> um, what? Yeah. But I mean, dude, like what is Dana White supposed to do? Yeah, you should pay your fighters more, uh, but they're a public company. What is he just going to go up to his investors and be like, hey, we're making this much less bank because some YouTuber told us demanded <laughs> that I do it. Yeah, sorry. Less money this year, guys. I mean, was he he's defending his sport? Yeah, yeah. Don't they get paid like twenty grand max a fight? It's like fifty k, you know, a fight. Twenty k to show up if you're not like one of the top guys, and then you like, yeah, you knock someone out, hell of a fight. Here's a fifty k bonus. Like, you know, I don't even think they're getting that much. No, it, well, the big discrepancy is so like revenue sharing in the major four sports <coughs> players get almost half of it. Like it's almost 50, 50, right? It's as close to 50, 50 as you can get between management and labor. UFC gets like 72%. And maybe it's, it might even be 82%. The fighters get like 18. It's just like, well, fuck. And Dana White's like, well, where else are you going to fucking fight? You know, cause they do put on the best product, but Jake Paul's saying, Hey, look, people are buying my shit too. Yeah. Uh, Damn. Yeah. Well, that's the serious stuff. Let's lighten it up before we get to some tea with Jack D. Uh, when I say the, the, I don't know this guy's name, but when I say the title "self defense guy" on TikTok, do you guys know who I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah, the dude with the mustache. How about him getting killed on video? Right. Like you know, <laughs> like, and then him coming out with a with a full infomercial breaking down the video of how he actually like how he didn't get killed in this self defense. <laughs> Are you talking about, yeah, the video where the guy had, like, the, the, the gun yeah, that he's like, loaded. And I'm going to grab it here, starts. and then you hear yeah. the clicking. He's getting <laughs> shot, like, five times in the chair. I almost wonder if that was just for views or something. Like, that like, guy's got to be curious. Yeah, he's, like, he can't be. You think you guys think he's, like, for real? Uh, oh, yeah. Know. I think this dude loves him some him. <laughs> yeah. Dude. I haven't seen this guy. Dude, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bro, you're going to go down a wormhole tonight. <laughs> dude it's like this dude who teaches you self-defense tactics and you're watching it and you're like that would you would literally oh. be and yeah, he's like super yeah. serious but it's so low budget it looks like the general commercial for like insurance and i saw a video of him he's been doing it for like fucking 15 years or something <laughs> yeah back and he on just like, discovered tiktok and that yeah. was a sensation what about that one guy that like dodged him? That's and what I'm the- saying. And <laughs> shot him. And then now everyone's yeah. laughing at him collectively. And he came out and in defense of himself and said, Well, actually, you know, he, he pulled it back. Nobody does that in the real art of combat. It's like, yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. Like the one where he's in the car and he like someone puts a pistol over his shoulder. I'm like, he's like like, that would not fucking work no the best is the people recreating those videos and just like trying to do it themselves and they immediately get killed and go to heaven (laughs) (laughs) dude tiktok is so fucking funny this is not funny this was cringe but it was almost like crack i couldn't look away the bryce hall hot tub drama oh with that face girl yeah you guys have uh do you yeah. want me to give you the lowdown or did, what did you guys have in terms of information here i honestly haven't heard even seen it so go ahead god i hate that this is gonna be so boring but it's basically just like i mean bryce hall's a tool we know that uh, but everyone like there's a ton of tools on tiktok so they go on this dude tommy this guy is literally famous just for having hot tub having a hot tub essentially and having girls there and like he's like Yeah, we have to get the views. We have to, you know, we have to go out with a bang. Like, he's basically just sexualizing. Like, middle schoolers have to be the only ones taking this in. I don't even understand how this is popular. But, yeah, basically, like, it was a he said, she said over just calling someone a pussy. And she was, like, so offended by it. And, like, at first, she was kind of claiming that Bryce was, like, forcing her to kiss her. And then he was like, that was not what I'm doing at all. But then he was also like, I don't have to do that. And it's like, okay, Bryce, thanks for throwing that in there, too. (laughs) Um, but it was just, it was disgusting and it, it, it was just like so lame. And then of course you had to go on the sink cup to explain, you know, your side of things. 
Um, and she had one of those crying videos too, where it's like, it's like, I really? did see, yeah, she posted a video of herself bawling her eyes out. You can't do how, the crying video. Yeah. Because, and then she was mad at the, the Tommy guy for not like making a public statement about it and being on her side or something. And yeah, if there, but like, honestly, it was just over Bryce calling her a pussy, which is like, it's like, okay, yeah, maybe don't do that. But also yeah. how is it? Okay. Move on with your life. Some fucking <laughs> tool bag called you a pussy, whatever. Uh, yeah. The comments were the funniest part of that, where people like on that crying videos, everyone just goes like the top rated comments. Just does anyone want to play Fortnite? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but I almost wonder if even all of that is just fake and it's just for views. Because I mean, it's clearly getting true content creators' views, just them, you know, beefing. So who yeah. knows how real it all even is? And shit, and I mean, we're in the content really? game too. Like, but I like being. Do you think they're proud of that content? I mean, if it gets them views, I mean, I guess sure, whatever you do, but. <laughs> yeah just having to get in a hot tub every day yeah i don't oh, think yeah. they really care i mean they started out dancing shirtless they probably sure. get in the views. well we don't have our usual break here we're just riffing because we got zoom pro are we ready for some tea with jack d to wrap up winging it let's do it i love i love the zoom pro yes um, how about that? official so they're just making shit up at this point uh in my opinion but the first Flu Rona case is one in Los Angeles. It's, it's a collab between the flu and COVID. Is that even possible? Yeah, it's having it at the same time. And apparently people are like, why don't you just say you have both? This is the media, you know, saying, which it is. I mean, flu Rona sounds fucking awful. Yeah. Someone said flu plus Rona is the biggest duo since Future and Drake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, honestly. Um, and in because of the other variant, I'm Omicron. The Grammys have been postponed. They were supposed yeah. to be uh, in February. Usually. I mean, I could give a rat's fuck, but that, yeah, no, I, that I just agree. goes to show. I mean, yeah, you know, but award shows, it just goes to show that fucking, you know, I, I would be worried about the Super Bowl in LA because it's just a sign of thing to come. Yeah. Sorry, I wasn't shitting on the tea there. I'm just not a Grammys guy. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, Sony just announced that they are now going to be making electric vehicles. They're going to be like crossover. <laughs> Wait, who just announced? Sony. Like oh. Sony. Okay. So. Aren't they video electronics? Like, I know a lot of companies. Like, I, mean, I didn't they realize. PlayStation TVs. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's right. I guess it's yeah. kind of the same as like Apple, but it's like a D grade Apple. Sorry, I don't mean to interrupt the T. I forgot there was one thing. It's more of a core trades, but it's like, did you see what happened with Fanatics? Like this cold cut business move. The owner of the Philadelphia 76ers who owns Fanatics, which is like the apparel company. He tops is the trading card company. He went to each individual league and secured a licensing deal with the league and then went back to tops and got to buy that company for pennies on the dollar. Yeah, that's nuts. Just like wiped wow. out their company. Like it was a total thing from succession and then just yeah. bought them and just like made them irrelevant. Damn. Yeah. I don't know much about it, but some people who are into like baseball cards that we know are curious if that's going to affect the value of those. Right. Top cards. Yeah. Are those even like in anymore? Oh, I, dude. I mean, it's year. Damn. Yeah, it's weird. It's in at like auctions because what it is is old people reliving their childhood with money and like paying 2.4 mil for like a Mickey Mantle rookie card. Oh, I thought we were talking about the digital NFT ones. Well, that's popular too, but I would imagine with uh, younger people. But yeah, Tops is, and I think they're trying to get into NFTs, but they're like the original back when baseball cards were cool in what, like the 70s? I don't know. Yeah. Um, Elizabeth Theranos was found that's the chick who um i don't exactly know what she did something with the medicine yeah I, I read into this she basically she's a silicon valley person like went to stanford and you know everyone just comes up with an own idea but she basically was like hey our we can test and find rare diseases with just a tiny amount of blood like it was a uh, appealing to people that are afraid of needles like hey we don't have to take this much blood from you we could do this so it's like a revolutionary company she's getting all this money all this contacts and she faked everything she was she, her technology was just going to the store and buying like the next best thing like she was falsifying all her documents there's yeah there's a documentary about it on hbo actually that, yeah and they're uh they're, just, they're making a movie about it right now but like and you said she was found guilty right on four out of 11 counts yeah. of fraud but, dude, it reminds me of the Firefest, dude. 
<laughs> dude but it's like way higher scale like she used to be on like gym like all these like 60 minutes and all this stuff and they're like yeah. you are the female steve jobs and like stuff like that. yeah she was like she basically played Look her up sometime role. yeah yeah <laughs> she's so wearing she's turtlenecks a huge schemer yes 100 yeah. percent. like she and i think the reason it was so much worse is because she was fucking with people's health as opposed yeah. to like you know giving you a True. cheese sandwich on a remote island which was <laughs> also <laughs> i still can't believe that was a thing <laughs> yeah, that's wild um all right we already covered the i-95 traffic people were stuck overnight looks miserable i used to live actually in between richmond and washington dc fun fact so i would have been yeah i-95 is a nightmare dude we just got we've gotten so much fucking snow here it's been crazy dude we haven't I, gotten any well yeah <laughs> it's making me want to go to warmer temps i'll tell you what <laughs> zona um all right this this actually hit me extremely hard this week and platts didn't even know who it was he thought it was betty crocker but betty dude. white passed away dude did you see my tweet my tweet this morning yeah the we miss you betty i would yeah, saw it. yeah i miss her i know <laughs> wasn't she about to turn 100 in like 10 days yeah. from people magazine came out with a people magazine basically like jinxed her they go happy 100th birthday betty and then she didn't make it to 100 yeah that's all then they, then they published it yeah it's like saying you want to bet before the last buzzer and then losing on a bad beat and everyone hates you dude maybe that's that'll be like a relic like people say they're I saw some yeah. story maybe that's good for people magazine like, it's like yeah, selling out them. that issue maybe we make it an nft just that <laughs> yeah but no i fucking love betty white she's hilarious so that's pretty sad um all right israel has approved their fourth dose of the booster <laughs> shot they're like the dude with the fucking yeah <laughs> i was just thinking back to that that's out on tiktok now our chat about uh, the fake arm guy with eight covid vaccine shots um <laughs> i mean it's yeah like clay travis is just taking a lap on everyone like yale <laughs> yale students are double vaccinated like they're as vaccinated as vaccinated comes and they still the school won't let them leave campus and go to a fucking restaurant like dude, so ridiculous oh my dude i feel dude, so insane. bad for what kids you... college kids like a whole generation maybe two are, are kids just gonna be stupid oh, like dude. this is hurting learning apparently, and everything apparently kids are uh my mom was telling me this are like having trouble starting to speak like when we did because they're not around anyone yeah like, Dude, like that's there's, gonna what I mean. Good like for there's us. There's people in New York who have legitimately not left their apartments, and it, so it's just the kid and the two parents. And they ki- apparently kids learn from like, well, obviously, but like just being out. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's like, how you're supposed to learn. But shit, like recess is probably no longer a thing. Like you know, field yeah, you trips, develop social skills. Yeah, God. yeah, dude, they're all gonna be fucking. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, no one's gonna come for our shit. We're the last intellectuals here, yeah. the millennials, maybe Gen Z, but after that, everyone's just a doofus. I I saw a stat that was like the IQ of kindergartners has dropped by like twenty points or something crazy. That's, that's kind of fucked. <laughs> um, all right. So this woman, this woman who was on. Um, she was on 90 Day Fiance, which was this reality show, and she was making $37,000 a week selling her jars of her farts. <laughs> she was hospitalized. She almost had a heart attack because she was trying to make herself fart so much because she was selling so much. So her heart literally started fucking giving out. You know what? I Dude. take it back. We're the stupidest generation. Yeah. That's where, that's, uh, that's, Wait, uh, you can have a heart attack from making yourself fart too much? I mean, dude, have you ever like said, I mean, dude, if she's pumping, if she's getting 37K per jar, you almost have to. Dude, I'd just be energy. lying about like whether or not I'm farting in the jar. Like, <laughs> how, how the fuck is someone going to prove that? Yeah, it's just air. Like, I can imagine her just literally yeah. just grabbing air and yeah. writing on the shipping label. Here you go. Yeah. Or I could actually imagine someone just holding it up. It, like the science isn't exact, just holding it up near her asshole, trying to capture the fart and twist it shut before it escapes. Dude, oh my That's God. a lot of jars. 
Oh, dude, she's all. Well, over. what do you think she's selling each jar for, bro? Thirty. Oh, actually, I don't know. That's <laughs> but she's announced. It's this article said she's announced her retirement. <laughs> it's, it's the game a lost a game. real one. You think yeah. she has like different strands? She's like, oh, this jar is right after eight. <laughs> this is right after eight Taco Bell. <laughs> Mor- morning fart <laughs> Mor- <laughs> afternoon lunch <laughs> well dude who the fuck buys that like there's yeah, I mean, weirdos <laughs> we gotta get rid of them we need to we should them. buy one let's buy yeah, one no, let's you know, that, that, that's an expense to- anyone who's bought one of those we need to put on a ship to snake island <laughs> <laughs> for real yeah we should put them in office dude she's She's retired. Do you think they're going for more on the secondary market? Dude, yeah, we good NFT. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, her NFT, the NFT or fart bubble. <laughs> Dude, yeah, they're gonna be limited supply now. We should buy one, like maybe look at reselling it. <laughs> it's our own sub stack. I was gonna say, are you gonna have to go on the dark web? And it's probably as fartsforsale.com domain. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right, Dylan, you might know a little bit about this. Um Novak Djokovic, the tennis player, was deported today from Australia. <laughs> yeah, this was nuts. I mean, Djokovic is an awesome fucking tennis player, one of the best ever. So obviously the biggest stage in tennis wants him there. They're like, yeah, all right. You know what? Well, I mean, shit, it's why we're all, all overlooking Aaron Rodgers, right? Like he's catching crap, but we're still going to give him the MVP, even though he's on, you know, and that's fine. He's unvaccinated, but it's just like. So that they were trying to sneak him in and the Australian, I guess it must be the country has a vaccine mandate because they were just like, nah, we're not going to fucking let you do this. Like, oh, dude, they're psycho over there. They are psycho. Like, dude, did you see those riots in New Amsterdam or something? Like, good Lord, I saw like police dogs, like ripping some dude's arm out of his socket, like just because they're protesting lockdowns. Yeah, was it a straight, big arm? They were straight like coming it was to your not house. a big arm. It was attached. <laughs> they're straight like coming to your house in Australia and like checking your bags cards. It's like fucking socialism or <laughs> wow. Something. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I thought Australia was chill, but I, Dude, yeah, exactly. Yeah. But what's funny too is like the like Djokovic has been deported. Unvaccinated Djokovic has been deported, and someone goes, you know, he's not sure what to do, and someone retweets and it goes, I have an idea. <laughs> <laughs> you could just fucking get the jab. <laughs> um, Ed Sheeran came out and said that the episode in of South Park in 2005 that made fun of redheads ruined his life. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I think that affi- afflicted some people for sure. Yeah. I think uh, I think his life's all right. <laughs> Yeah, yeah he's, he's I agree. Right. I just thought it was funny. <laughs> At the time, he probably, I mean, shit. He probably know. got shit. I, yeah, that maybe, maybe he never would have been as good as a musician if that episode never came out, you know? That's a good way to look at True. it. True. Yeah. yeah. D- he wanted to stood out from the crowd. Did you see Jon Stewart uh, calling out J.K. Rowling? For, for like, what? So he was basically like, <laughs> I, you know, I don't really know, but I guess J.K. Rowling's kind of like polarizing in her political views. I don't really know, but yeah. she's she's very she's got trans views that people don't like. That's okay. That's right. But she, uh, like John Stewart, was basically like, "You made the bankers in Gr- Grimlet's Hall or whatever Jews, but they were just goblins." Like, and then the clip shows, and it's just like, it's like, oh, dear God. Yeah. What is she trying to achieve here? The bankers, uh, why do they look exactly like this? And like, oh, <laughs> good Lord. Did any of you guys watch that? I'm not a Harry Potter guy, but that Harry Potter reunion. Uh, yeah. You know, I thought about it and I just, I, I didn't think I wanted the, you know, I like the movies, but I didn't obsess over it. I think that's the audience they're going for with that. Right. Yeah. It was, it was cool to it. see how they look like now. I mean, shit, I think, we grew I up. I think it was kind of like the Friends reunion where they just sat around a table and like yeah. re- recapped on like big moments in time, stuff like that. I don't hear Ron Weasley complaining, fucking Ed Sheeran's ass. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Is that uh, South Park episode funny? I, I'm yeah, I'm sure it's fucking. Hysterical. I've honestly never seen it. I'm not. Yeah, I no. think I've seen it in passing. I, like that has got to be one of the ones that's like memorable. From I mean, yeah, it's probably one of the classic ones. If it's yeah. from 2005, like it's probably funny. Um, all right, just a couple suggestions for shows. Um, I saw this trailer came out. This comes out February 2nd, but it's got Seth Rogen and R- the dude who plays Ron Swanson in it, and they <laughs> play the two dudes who steal Tommy Lee and P- 
Pamela Anderson sex tape and sell it. <laughs> wow. It's like, it's like the first time that like, cause they're like, no one's ever made money off a of sex tape before, like stealing and selling it. And it's like, he's like, dude, there's this thing called the internet. <laughs> and it looks, it, the trailer looks, it looks really fucking good. And, um, so that comes out February, and then Sunday we got second season of Euphoria, and the second season is, is of- that sick. Um, yes. Okay, Euphoria. Yeah, yeah, that's all I had. Yeah, because I I just kind of I think the only thing I've seen Zendaya Zendaya in is fucking uh, Spider Man, but I Euphoria know she's really in Spider Man. Okay. I haven't seen the new one yet. I went on a Spider Man binge because I hadn't seen the first two, so I watched that. Uh, but I think Austin, I will. Did go you to watch that. the new one? Yeah, I did. Was did it you sick? go in theaters or? On yeah. YouTube? Theater. No way. Have you seen it? Uh-uh. Is it oh, dude, I go oh. again tonight. Wow. I go right now. <laughs> well, dude, I need to get better. We could go Friday, though, or yeah. Sunday, Saturday. Or um, Dude, you got to watch Euphoria. It's, like, so well shot, and it's, like, Yeah, I've heard seen. great things critically from it. It gets pretty dark, though, but it is yeah. really good. It's right. got a specific sort of, like, vibe to it. It's kind of sad, but it's, sure. good. it's a good yeah. show. And and the righteous gemstones for anyone who watches that is that good? My That's, dad it's watches. Pretty that. funny. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's got a vibe of like a. And it's Danny McBride. I feel like he hasn't yeah, done much the, since fucking. Yeah. And they're basically like making fun of like the Joel Austin churches of like. <laughs> oh God! Yeah. Like they're like a corrupt family that runs a church. Right. That's pretty yeah. damn good. Yeah. That's the tea with Jack D. Jack, I think we're trying to augment kind of our video side of things too, in addition to the podcast network. You should do like just like a one minute hitter on like because you take in all these movies and TV shows, like a review with Jack D just for our social media. Yeah. Maybe do some stuff Good there idea. in the works. I can do uh, this is winging it. We lost Alex in the mountains, but we'll get him back for next week. The fellas, we'll talk to you then.